when I first joined this team 10 years ago, they didn't have any identity whatsoever. The one thing that we worked was to create an identity. It's all about commitment. You commit to the team and commit to winning. And that's what we're doing. If you look at the pictures here, everything is about winning. So uh, that's why we are here and uh, that's why everybody's excited. They're a winning franchise. They've won two Stanley Cups. That's all they care about here. I think with the acquisitions this summer, it puts that emphasis back on the Stanley Cup. Anything short of that is, is failure. It's a long year. There's a lot of media hype about us going all the way, and we're excited to start the season. It's an organization from, from top to bottom that takes pride in winning, and we're all fortunate to be here. So close, no matter how far. Couldn't be much more from heart. Forever trusting who we are. No, nothing else matters. This season is all about winning. There's nothing else. All we can do is put you in position to win. If I tell you to go up there naked, you do it. Since you were the other guy, win, you live, lose, you die. Go out there and beat Army. I'm doing the same things I wanted to do when I was five, six, and seven. I'm playing games. You ready to outwork them? Put your balls on the line, I'll compete, and we'll get out of here with two points, all right? The September sun once again surrenders to the might of the Rockies. Yet in the foothills of these mountains, a glow of optimism surrounds a hockey club with expectations, appropriately enough, a mile high. Uh, obviously, we're very excited about this group. I think it's a special group, not only from the talent uh, that this group brings, uh, but also, more importantly, I think what kind of person that each of them are. So I just fill all this stuff up. Thank you. Right there. there are a lot of new players in our locker room. Let's face it, we made a lot of changes over the summer. Where are you from? From Vancouver. From Vancouver, number nine, center or forward, left wing. North Vancouver, number nine, left wing. Hi, I'm Paul, I'm Paul Curry. No, you don't say hi. Well, you know what? It'd probably be better in your case. Because it'll be the first actual time that people get to see it. Uh, as soon as uh, Korean Solani joined our club, everyone said that this might be the last chance that a, a group of players of this caliber get to play uh, on the same team uh, in an NHL uh, city. So uh, we're very confident that this group will mix and blend uh, together into what we expect it to be. First of all, I'd like to welcome you all to camp. Uh, obviously, we're all excited as a coaching staff to get the season underway. Uh, our expectations for our organization are always the same here in Colorado and uh, that's to win the Stanley Cup. So when we show up to the rink, make sure we're all business. No shortcuts, the discipline is being on time, being prepared to put in the effort that it takes to be a good teammate, to be a part of something that's gonna be real special here. There was such a letdown when they lost to Minnesota in the playoffs last year. They were noticeably uh, distraught. They've gotta have an empty, sick feeling in the middle of their stomachs right now. What, what can we say? I mean, bottom line, we didn't play good enough to win. That's just the, the way it is. I don't know what kind of scale you're looking at. I mean, how much, how much, how can you explain how much it hurts? That laid the groundwork for this season in the sense of there was a definite feeling that they had something to make up for, both to prove Tony Granado's coaching capability and also to prove that this franchise still has the Stanley Cup set as the holy grail and that nothing else would suffice. Number eight, 
just he was funny. In the first scrimmage, seeing them all on the ice, it was stunning and even surprising to understand what they were capable of. Yeah, you go. Over, over. Hey. I didn't realize how intense Paul really was until I played him at camp with him. One of those guys that goes as hard as he can every shift. Timu comes in and puts a real high emphasis on himself to try to contribute for the team and help the team win. Who's going to take the puck? Keep it to me. You're seeing how each one of those guys became a star. They're all different in their, in their, in their superstar way, but uh, it's funny to see them all work together. What's up, boys? Here's Paul. I mean, we had a good team before, but you get these guys. I mean, they've been two of the best goal scorers in, in, in the 90s, and they've been unbelievable. So it's good players on the papers, but hard work wins the cup, not just talent. Look at this. Who's taller right now? Paul, 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 Paul gets up, he's like this. Let's go. <laughs> There's no question that it's unique uh, that you have two individuals like Paul and Tamu who found themselves unrestricted. It's going to be a long year. Long year. It's already started. <laughs> we are flattered that players of the caliber of Paul Correa and Timo Solani uh, made a decision to, to want to join our organization and try to win a Stanley Cup with this team. Who came up with the plan to kind of reunite? And uh, when did you guys approach the Avs? When the situation came, we, were, we tried to find out what place we would have most fun and Colorado was the number one choice and uh, we had to find out if it's even possible. For us, the easy part was to say no until they were able to, to make their decision and join us within our, our financial limits. Now you took the bigger pay cut to come in here, so does he owe you? He was supposed to give me a Porsche to drive. I He's coming, don't worry, bro. <laughs> The Porsche is coming. <laughs> the Porsche is coming, apparently. I, I haven't seen it yet, but we'll see. Being part of an off-season that included the arrival of Paul Correa and Tamu Solani is enough to make every other newcomer practically invisible. Even if you're 6'7", 250 pounds. The thing that we added with Peter, obviously, is size and his toughness. A big body like that, that's a physical presence that not many teams have. Unfortunately, that presence was immediately erased by a major knee injury in camp. You get to a new team, and you know, the only way you really can become a real good teammate is to be playing. And uh, you know, to come right off the bat and um, not be able to perform, it's been, uh, it's been very frustrating. When it was clear that Peter Worrell would not be ready to play for a long time, they understood they needed a guy like Jim Cummins. And that uh, really enhanced his chances. This could be like a good feel story, you know. If you're out of the league for a year, you come back. For an opportunistic, tough guy hungry for a comeback, the door was wide open, and Cummins came in swinging. The first day of camp, you have to make an impression, and he did. And you know, to not play in a year, and like as he says, just hang around Starbucks every day um, and work out. It's a good story, and you know he's done his job. You know he's filled that role for for our team. You know, not playing last year, I couldn't expect to go anywhere. All I wanted was a chance to get back. And uh, you know, you play hockey. This is my job. This is my livelihood. And uh, I don't have a plan B. This is this is what I do. And uh, to get back to NHL was a. Uh, Priority number one, but getting back with a team like this is like a, it's a chance of a lifetime. You know, it's it's seriously like it's unbelievable. I went from not playing to now I'm on the Avalanche. You know, he, he didn't get a free hand here. He worked hard, and he did his job, and he, he made the roster because of himself. Let's start from the first game. They're not going to beat us. We know that. This team's worked hard. If you look around and see what you got next to you. Something special here. Let's start off the right way here tonight, all right? Come on, boys. Nine division championships. I mean, that's pretty consistent at being right at the top. Come on, boys. We got work to do here, boys. We got work to do. Paul, Joe, Tamo, you guys are up. Sackick in front of shot. And a save by Leighton. Now Solani to Korea. Great move. He scores. Lanny back. 